Hello, this is Wiley from Learn to Barbecue. This video is my first using the Rectech Wildside and the Thermoworks Blue Dot Thermometer. Here's what it looked like when I first put the turkey on. The rotisserie handled this 12 pound turkey like it weighed nothing. The Thermoworks Blue Dot also ran flawlessly and its round design and two powerful magnets in the back made it attaching rather easy. To attach the blue dot, you need to route the blue dot temperature probe wire through the rotisserie bushing. This bushing allows the spit to turn freely on the grill. To attach the blue dot, all I needed was a round disc used to mount phones magnetically to your dash. This disc is only metal and is held in place using 3M adhesive that comes with the disc. Wipe the spit handle clean and remove the paper so the adhesive is exposed. Now center the disc on the end of the handle. I felt it was easy to put the disc on the table and then center the handle. With disc attached to handle, take the blue dot and test how secure it is. I was amazed how strong the magnet was and how secure the blue dot became on the handle. Now before you attach the handle, just make sure the probe cable can be attached to the blue dot and also that the temperature probe can be inserted into the turkey. Now screw the handle back onto the spit. Because your cable is going to be a lot longer than you need, I wrap the excess cable around the handle before inserting the cable into the blue dot. Now it's time to prep the turkey. I borrowed this recipe from Gordon Ramsay, and it is great at keeping a turkey moist. The secret is making a herb butter. You start with two sticks of unsalted butter. One tablespoon of sage. One tablespoon of rosemary and one tablespoon of thyme. I am not adding salt for I had already dry brined the turkey, but you could add salt if needed. Now clean your hands and put on a pair of preparation gloves and go for it. You need to make sure every inch of butter is mixed with the spices. Now put the herb butter in the refrigerator and all those spices become one with the butter. Now on to the turkey. Got this 12 pound turkey at Sprouts Farmer's Market. It is fully natural and has not been injected with salt. If you see the words enhanced when you buy a turkey, it means they injected salt into the turkey. The only thing that is enhanced is the company's bank account, 
for the salt makes the turkey way more when it's bought. Also, you should never brine an enhanced turkey. And also, an enhanced turkey does not mean it's brined. It is not. As you see, I'm removing all the junk. You do not need any plastic holding legs or a pop-up temperature gauge that guarantees an overcooked turkey. Do keep the neck and all the gizzards, for they make great gravy. Now it's time to tie up this bird. You do not want the legs or wings dangling on the rotisserie. I separate the job into two twines. One twine to hold the wings tight, and the second twine to secure the legs and also hold the skin tight. Take the twine and loop behind the wings, then go around the turkey and then secure the wings. At the same time, as you loop from the front, you'll tighten down the skin so it won't fall into the flames. Make sure you cut the loose ends of the twine so they do not get close to the fire. With the wings done, get a second twine and loop it around the breastbone and follow behind each leg. This will push up the breast and also pull the legs up so the skin will tighten and will cook evenly. Put the legs together, one on top of the other, and wrap legs with twine. Flip bird over, then circle twine over the Pope's nose and pull twine tight and then tie. Make final adjustments and get ready to apply the herb butter. Before the butter can be applied, you need to separate the skin from the breasts. With your fingers, push slowly but firmly between the breast meat and the skin. Do this from both sides of the cavity. Now go get the herb butter and put it in the microwave for about 20 seconds so you can soften it up. Now apply butter on every inch of the breast under the skin. As you put more butter in with one hand, use the other hand to flatten the butter out. The butter is going to give you a very moist turkey with a perfect golden turkey skin and the herbs are all going to add the subtle flavors we all crave when we have Thanksgiving turkey. When you're done covering the breasts, then cover every inch of skin on the outside and also in the cavity. More butter means better self-basting as the bird turns on the rotisserie. Now you know where the name Butterball Turkey came from. Make sure you get into all the crevices and also underneath the twine.
Now it's time to put the turkey on the spit rod. With the turkey laying with the breast facing up, put the spit rod through the top cavity and then the lower cavity, making sure the rod is above the legs. Insert spit rod fork into the upper part of the breast. Now put the other spit rod fork on and make sure both legs are secured by the fork. I know this is out of camera, but I'm spinning the turkey to see if it's balanced. So you know I had already applied a counterbalance weight, so it was good to go. Now using pliers, make sure that both forks are fully secured. Now it's time to get the turkey on the grill. And as you can see, the rotisserie is turning freely without any hesitation, and the bird is not flopping around. The blue dot temperature probe is also inserted into the thickest part of the breast. Here is the blue dot only minutes after I put the turkey on. Turkey temperature is 57 degrees, and the alarm is set for 165 degrees. That's when the turkey will be done. Also, as you can see, it's very easy to read the display. For cooking fuel, I'm using Royal Oak Lump Charcoal and Kingsford Hickory Smoking Chunks. Here's the turkey a little over halfway through the cook. And as you can see, the bird is cooking very evenly. You also see the occasional flame from both the hickory chunks and the juices from the herb butter. When it comes to rotisserie turkey, it does not get any better than this. The wild side pit area maintains an even and consistent heat due to the heavy large metal plate in the bottom of the pit. In addition, it has a variable speed blower that acts like bellows, giving the fire additional oxygen. Now here's the Thermoworks app, showing not only the turkey's temperature, but shows a complete graph of the cook. You can now see we are at 140 degrees, and based on our graph, we should be less than 30 minutes from being done. This turkey cooked so evenly, and the skin came out with a perfect golden brown. I decided to pull the turkey at 160 degrees and let it come up to temperature of 165 as it rested. I left the turkey on the spit rod and put it in a foil pan where the turkey could stay suspended so the skin could stay perfect while at rest. I then foiled the turkey and monitored the blue dot as the temperature rose to 165 degrees when it was time to be served. Before we see the final results, let's look at the complete cook. Turkey was put on grill with internal temperature of 55 degrees Fahrenheit. Turkey then came up to temperature without any spikes or delays, a perfect chart. At the one hour mark, internal temperature was 115 degrees Fahrenheit. At 160 degrees, the turkey was pulled, foiled, and then set to rest. Total cook time before rest was 1 hour and 53 minutes. Internal temperature raised to 165 degrees Fahrenheit while the turkey rested. So let's take a look at this turkey. 
First, we remove the legs. Slowly cut down till you find the joint and then cut through. In our family, we keep the thighs and drumsticks together. We let the family member cut the meat off the bone. Next, remove the wings and the delicacy called the Pope's nose and now the breasts. Because I think every piece of turkey should have skin, I cut down from the top following the breastbone till I have a complete breast. Now cut the breast from the skin side so every piece will have some skin. Now position the turkey breast next to the turkey legs and you are good to go. Bon appétit. If you would like to see more videos like this, please subscribe. Also, we really appreciate your watching.